Hello everyone, I'm back with another solution tutorial video. And today I'm gonna show you how to fix any application error. Responsible if the solution don't work, 1000% guarantee so guys please watch full video and don't skip the video if you want to fix your error. So guys without wasting any time let's start. So guys in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix application error 0xc007b in Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and also on Windows XP. I'm 100% sure this will work for everyone, so guys please don't skip the video if you wish to fix the error, don't skip means don't skip. I think every gamer faced this problem at least once in their gaming life. So first let me show you if I also have this error while starting game. I'm going to run Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. As you can see it's giving the same error we are talking about, so how to fix it? Ok so I always have two ways to fix the error. If first method does not work so don't panic the second one will definitely work. Ok so first let me explain this to you. In most cases it's Microsoft.NET Framework causing the issues or some other softwares like the ActX. Just simply go to description, open the link, and download Microsoft Framework. and deact x setup and install it After downloading install both of them and then check if the error fixed or not. Note, run the game exe as administrator. If the error is not fixed then don't panic we have plan B, right? Ok so if your error fixed then like the video and comment on video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more solutions some best tips and gameplay videos. If you face any other problem in this video contact me or write in comments and let me do the work. Guys if your problem is not solved then let's try second method but first please subscribe my channel. It's free for you so why not subscribe to help me make more videos for you. Just simply go to description, open the link, and download the RAR file given. So after downloading extract it. So after extracting you guys can see bunch of DLL files. Ok so now all you have to do is copy all the DLL file you extracted and paste in the game main directory folder. And that's it, I hope it worked, and I hope you guys subscribe my channel and like the video. Guys if you face any other problem then tell me if I can help you, 
and guys wait wait don't forget to check my other videos I'm sure you guys will like them, thanks for watching.